If I say something wrong, please correct me. In August, when all the personnel of our company were on vacation, one million three hundred thousand U.S. dollars was stolen from the bank account of one of our companies. The funds were stolen directly from the bank account. Some people just came to the bank there. Now Igor will tell us how it all happened. All possible versions. It's a Greek Cyprus company. What bank is it? It's the Bank of Cyprus. The Bank of Cyprus. It's a big bank. Yeah, the bank is 123 years old. Yes, the bank is 123 years old. And we asked them, guys, someone on your side has stolen money from our bank account. Three and a half months have passed. No result. We cannot do anything. We cannot initiate a criminal case, even though we have filed an application. No response from the Bank of Cyprus. We have not received any single response from them. So, mind that is one million three hundred thousand dollars, and it seems to me that's a huge blow to the bank's reputation. I myself talked to them three times without any result. Igor, you're welcome to have your say. Come on. We think the following. The bank could have taken better care of its clientele. The bank gave its guarantees, it has certain obligations to its clients, and the fund's security is also its responsibility. Therefore, we'd like a fair investigation to be made, and we'd like bank representatives not to hide from us. Yeah, they literally run away from us. Can you imagine? That's why we want the Bank of Cyprus to finally send its representatives with whom we could discuss the issue, resolve it, and sign a memorandum that would list our future actions. We would like to develop a kind of roadmap, get the police and Interpol involved in this matter. This video will be sent to all public bodies. We also hope this video will help all the clients of this bank realize that they are not protected at all. In our opinion, the Bank of Cyprus does not care a pin about its clients. For how long they said they have existed? 123 years. These are all past endeavors, and I don't think any future is possible for such a bank. Shaukat, what would you say? This is Shaukat who also took part in the talks trying to resolve the matter. The documents we received from them were more runarounds than showing any care about the clients who bring big money to the bank. And the bank partly lives on the interest. That's why I share in. We wish the bank would give more attention to this matter and take a somewhat more serious stand. Look, guys, our money was stolen from the bank. Is it our problem? It is certainly your problem. These are really your problems, guys. That's why we do not recommend all those who are watching and listening to us now to deal with this bank in the offing, because problems are likely to arise. Maybe the country accounts for these problems, because, you know, there are some processes underway there. As far as I know, we are not alone. There are clients who are in the same situation. So there are more such clients. Therefore, our fellow bankers and fellow financials of other companies, we are calling you to give up working with the Bank of Cyprus unless they put everything in order. And that's it. They're not good people. Mischief makers. Put this online, translate it into English, and send to the Greek embassy. Is it Greece? Greece? Cyprus. Okay, then Cyprus. And send this to the embassy of Cyprus, Interpol, the Ministry of Internal Affairs, and so on.